you could bring that girl into your life without even trying to dick her down, without even trying to dick her down, because maybe you already have a couple other girls in the circle. Maybe you're already hooking up with one of the other girls. You could bring that girl into the group and show her the lifestyle. And if anything, another thing you could do is you find a way to educate her in her own life. Okay. If you could bring her into an epic social circle while educating her in her own life, she's going to fall in love with you. She can't help but be attracted to you. If you're leader of the group, running a social circle, hosting events and activities, providing her with fun, connecting her to other people while still educating her and benefiting her in her other life. Pre-selection, leader of men, healthy emotions, successful risk taker. Uh, forgot the what's fucking an, last one. What's an example, a quick example of that? The uh, helping educating? her. Educating, yeah. Is that like when what's you were question? that one girl with this t teaching her about the social media? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great one. Actually, uh, speaking of which, I ran into her. I ran into her at the fucking CVS like a, four days ago. I ran into her at the CVS. She had a mask on. I didn't recognize her, but she, she, she was sick from over the weekend. We talked for a little bit, and I was like, yeah, what's up with the Instagram, this and that? How's, how's business going? She's like, it's okay. I've been sick. I haven't really been following up with everything. Uh, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, yo, you got to get more comfortable talking on camera if you're going to you know, make some real money with this stuff. And she was like, yeah, I know when I'm, when I'm not being, when I'm done being sick, like I'm going to fucking do that, that, that. I was like, cool. That sounds good. I was like, yo, when, whenever you're healed, I was like, yo, we should catch up sometime and, and, and talk a little bit about business and strategy and stuff. And she was like, yeah, it sounds good. I was like, cool. All right. I got to get going. I'll talk to you soon. And I left. That was on Monday. I was actually going to DM her. I was going to DM her right before the lecture started, but I didn't. Cause I, now that I talked to Eric and Romil, I was just going to message her and be like, Hey, by the way, I'm actually hosting a business. Uh, I'm, I'm hosting a live business meeting. It's business slash meeting slash lecture that I'm going to be going over some Instagram business with, with two of, with two, with two other people and how they're making money. And I think the whole thing would be really educational if you want to join in. Okay. So I guarantee you, she's going to be down for that. She's literally been talking about this. Obviously she wants to make more money. She sees me excelling in not the same industry, but in the same field, in a sense of making money through social media, right? If you can be what the girl is inspiring to be and you're better than her at that thing, it's a wrap, man. It's a fucking wrap, honestly. Like I haven't really been pursuing this girl too much because she lives in my apartment building. I just moved in here. I've been talking about it with my girl. She's not on board with me fucking this girl, but, and that's okay. I don't, that's fine. I, I understand. Honestly, I just moved in here. Like she lives down the fucking hall. I get it. <laughs> you know, we're not that far into the relationship to the point where I'm just like doing whatever the fuck I want. There is a little bit of back and forth communication about this shit right now. So, um, that's fine. That's sorry. It's fucking cats attacking the dog. <laughs> that's fine. But either way, if I wanted to get this girl, I would literally just invite her to, to the meeting. <clears throat> I could, if she was open to it, I would just have her come here while I was running the call, or I would just tell her I'm going to be hosting it in the, in the lounge. If you wanted to meet up over there, I wouldn't even hit on her. I wouldn't even flirt with her. Maybe the tiniest bit of physicality while she's sitting next to me. Mainly all I would be doing is disqualifying and teasing and pushing her away because my status is so fucking high. Okay, I would almost friend zone the girl while just showing her I'm the fucking man. I'm the fucking man in your industry, in your career. I know everything you need to know. I'm making more money than you. And if you were to be with me, your income would probably 10x. I have the social circle. I have women in my life. I'm triggering the pre-selection. I'm running the leader of the group of the social circle. I'm educating people on live lectures. I promise you if this girl hung out with me enough, and we actually connected and got to know each other more. It's a fucking rap. It's a fucking rap, dude. Who else is she going to go with? Like, like there isn't a better person. There isn't a better person. She may date somebody. How do you end up getting that girl anyway? Well, she dates that dude. Let's put it this way. Why would I end up getting that girl? Because I'm literally triggering within her. I'm the best option. By not dicking her down but by bringing her along and showing 
every other piece of evidence that I'm the fucking man. It's literally showing her this is the guy. If she's fucking hot, she goes out, guys fucking approach her, guys hit on her, guys display intent, they overescalate, they underescalate, they're intimidated. She goes home, we talk about it. We talk about everything that happened, how these dudes all fuck up, why they're whack, blah, 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 blah. We talk about business. I'm displaying pre-selection to her. <clears throat> I'm educating her. Her whole life is getting better. Maybe she meets a man. She starts dating that dude. This is literally how I got my girlfriend, by the way. She was fucking somebody else at the time. And she wasn't happy. And we were friends. This is how it started. Telling you because I went through this thing, man. <laughs> we were friends. She was fucking somebody else. And she wasn't fully happy. They weren't really connecting. The sex wasn't that good. Um... It was, and, and on top of that, she felt like it was boring, even though she was so attracted to this dude. This dude is better looking than me. This dude's like fucking model, man. This dude's a better looking version of me. He's got like a longer, better beard. He's got thick hair. He's got a nice, long, like, good looking dude, man. Taller than me, too. Taller than me, too. We start hanging out. We're just friends. I'm displaying the pre selection. We're hanging out. We're going on hikes as friends. We're talking about her dating life. We're talking about the sex. We're talking about what this dude is doing wrong. What he needs to be doing better. I'm even educating her on what needs to be done better. She already knows from my friends that I coach men. She's reaching out asking me what's going wrong. I'm literally educating her on the relationship. She was going to be going to school for sex therapy. She wanted to be like a relationship or sex therapist. She sees me. What happens then? I didn't tell her. I didn't even tell her about my following. I just started bringing her into the live lectures. She would sit. If you go and watch like old lectures from like two years ago, you'll see this girl. She doesn't even look as hot as she, she looks now. But you see this girl sitting in on some of the lectures. Right? We were just friends. We were completely just friends. But I was sitting there lecturing about the topics that she wanted but I was already making it a career and I was more educated and I already had dudes following me about it. While I'm not trying to dick her down, we're creating a high level of comfort and connection and security and trust talking about shit that she's not talking about with other dudes. The dude that knows her darkest secrets, her deepest secrets, the one that she can trust the most, that dude possesses the key to her heart. Problem is that the guys that usually have that don't know how to trigger the attraction. They don't know how to display the pre-selection. They don't know how to do any of those things other than because they're a pussy, so they can't ever reveal any of that. And then one day they just spill their guts saying that they had a crush on them the whole time. Or they just try to make a move out of nowhere and it's awkward. But there, was, there wasn't the attraction in place. The pre-selection wasn't in place. It was just comfort and connection. I'm telling you guys, you need to hit all levels of this thing without dicking her down if you really want to go from friend zone to end zone okay that's how you do it and the beauty about being in the friend zone while i'm educating her while i'm displaying all this stuff i can indirectly show her what my view what my views are on reality what my views are on relationships i don't need to tell her on the first date hey i think i i really want this 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 and this and this Okay, if I say that on a date, she's already looking at me through a scope of. I can't fuck this guy. He wants this and this. Those are fucking red flags. Fuck no, still wants to fuck multiple women. Get the fuck. I'm not going on a date with this guy, but we're just friends. So we can connect. We can be open. We can be honest with each other. We can talk about. Everything and anything in a non-judgmental way because I've created that environment between us. I've created that comfort and connection between us without being a pussy while still, that's why the pre-selection needs to be in place. It needs to be in place and you need to be disqualifying and negging the girl. If you're not doing those things, you're going to come off as a friendly, nice guy that's getting friend zoned. Okay. You need to be disqualifying. You need to be triggering pre-selection. Yeah, that's Absolute what I was going to ask. How, how do you do all that and and keep keep your value 
sexually and the attract, you know, selection. So, yeah. Pre selection all the way. Okay. She needs to come out with you guys and she needs to see you getting with women if you're going to be friends. Or at the very least, she knows you're capable of it and you see that she can see that other girls are attracted. What okay? do you mean by pre selection? Pre selection means other women display interest in you okay okay so if we're friends and we're going out or if i'm inviting her to a party like i'll I'll give you an example like for this girl in particular like i am she i invited her to come to the house party she didn't know i had a girlfriend when she showed up to the party and i would argue my girlfriend's probably hotter than her i would say and and has a more vibrant personality and is is more like socially confident too i guarantee you when she saw that she thought I was even more attractive. She showed up. She wasn't sure what she was going to be walking into. She just met me in a lounge one day. She added me on Instagram. She starts to see my value a little bit more, but then she shows up here and she sees a dope, dope party, dope view, really hot girlfriend. That's cool. That makes friends with her. I guarantee you my value goes up. We start talking about Instagram, start talking about business, talking about ways she can make more money. Guaranteed, my value goes up. Okay. Yeah. We That's go out full to the circle. Co- full circle because we were we were talking about the yeah being leader of the groups and and yeah that makes sense. Yeah, it's it's all of these things. Okay. What happens from there? If you really want to get this girl from friend zone to end zone, okay, we establish a comfort connection. We establish some attraction. We establish some pre-selection. We established some sort of education in her life as well okay it doesn't need to be her career could be other things though right it could be relationship advice a lot of you guys you know more about male female dynamics now than any other dude that she's going to encounter right you can talk about that kind of stuff you can educate her on that stuff um oftentimes i'll educate the friend as friends though since we're friends we can talk about this kind of shit you know that was one regret I had. Actually, I should have friend zoned my girl even longer. I hadn't gone through this before, though. So I knew a lot of this stuff in the back of my mind. But if I could do it over again, I would friend zone even longer. I would friend zone even longer and display even more pre selection and get us more on the same page as friends. Because the moment you guys start fucking, things start to change a little bit. The expectation starts to change a little bit. When we're friends, I can talk about everything I want in a relationship ever. You know, I can even talk to her about the girls I'm dating right now and how they're fucking up and how I wish this girl was like this, this, and this. Because if I really wanted the girl to be, and I really wanted this girl all the way and for a girl to like really make me fall in love, I I'd need her to be like this, this, and this. Because honestly, in my last relationship, we didn't do this and this. and I, I just watched my attraction go down for the girl and ultimately just led to resentment in the relationship. And from a biological standpoint, those things don't work because of this, this, and this. Like I'm literally educating the girl on what I want and why it works from a non judgmental place because we're friends. Because we're friends. Okay. And you need the pre selection in place. Otherwise, she's going to think that you're talking about her. Okay. If the pre selection isn't there, This just comes off as some weird dude. You need to be the dude that's like, I'm talking to her about this stuff with the girl I'm hooking up with. Or my current girlfriend. Like, literally, it's like, honestly, look, I already have a girlfriend. So, you know, me and you are close at this point. I can talk to you about this in a non-judgmental way. But, like, honestly, like, when she does this and this, like, yo, that is not okay with me. And it would never be okay with me. And I'm really trying to like educate her on, even though I'm talking about what's going on here, I'm I'm telling her what could, what could be if we were to go down that route, because as she starts falling for me more and more and more and more, as I'm triggering these things in her, as I'm leading her, as I'm educating her, as I'm just hitting all of these attraction triggers, um, without dicking her down, the more and more we hang out, the more the vibe starts to build up more and more and more and she'll probably start to have thoughts about it at some point because nature will kick in 
Nature will kick in. I don't even need to do it. I've already demonstrated to my environment that I'm the guy. She's biologically designed to mate with the guy. So the more evidence that she sees that you're that guy, and the more she hangs around you, more and more and more nature is just going to take its fucking course. Okay? And she won't be able to help it but become more and more attracted to you. Okay? She'll go home. She may even still be with another dude. She may start thinking about you. Or they get into a fight and you're the fucking first person she calls. And what you want it to be is it gets to a point where she would actually rather hang out with you than the dude she's with. And that's literally what happened to me. <laughs> it's literally what happened to me. It got to a point where the, we had a couple phone calls. We had a couple hangout section, sessions. It started progressing. The vibe was building up. And we started talking more and more and more. And it got to a point where we were calling. We were, she was calling me almost every day. We were communicating almost every day. Okay. And she even admitted to me later on, there was a point where she almost felt weird hitting me up because it was getting to a point where we were communicating almost too much. And although she didn't tell me that at the time, later on, when she told me that it confirmed to me that in that actual moment, when she was feeling that I was playing everything perfectly. And when everything's being played perfectly, she can't help but have that desire. Okay. But we haven't hooked up yet. So although it's there, if I were to ask her, she, girls don't know. They probably fucking deny everything. Okay? That's why you don't need to do it yet. That's why you just keep building it up. You keep building it up. What happened from there? We started hanging out more. We started having sleepovers. We are having sleepovers as friends. It was also COVID at the time. So COVID had just broken out. COVID had just broken out. We weren't going out. Everything was in lockdown. We started hanging out more. We started sleeping over. She started sleeping over my house. Actually, I think the first time we hung out, I slept over her house. I had just finished getting my arm tattooed in the city. I was going back into Jersey, and her house was on the way home. So I stopped at her house to show her the tattoo, and we started hanging out until it was really late. And then it was, it was really late, so I just slept over, and I slept in the bed with her. And we didn't do anything. I didn't make a move. We didn't do anything. We just slept. We just stayed over. We talked till it was late. And we went to sleep. And then eventually she came over my house and we slept over at my house a couple of times. A couple of times that happened. And every time I can see the attractions going up, the vibes going up. I'm not listening to the words that are coming out of her mouth. I know that this other dude's not playing the game how I'm playing the game. Okay, start getting closer and closer and closer. And then one night, we started dropping when we were laying next to each other. We were laying next to each other, which turned into cuddling, which I think at some point it just started turning into dropping. And then clothes started coming off. And it was such a slow buildup. <laughs> it was such a slow buildup to the sex over so long. I don't even know how long this was. Maybe a month? Maybe two months? Nah, about a month. About a month this happened. The phone calls and stuff probably happened two months before, and then the hangout started happening, and then a month build up to this point. What happened from there? Well, we started hanging out more. I think the next time we hung out, we actually had sex, and then, um, and then we started having sex a little bit more and then like after like two three times we started like <clears throat> we started fucking a lot more okay so um that's how i went from friend zone to end zone okay so it was a lot in there and there's a lot more that happens from end zone to six months 12 months two years dating okay you could fuck this up at any part of the way man this is a fucking chess game okay and if anybody's going to tell you it's all about looks and money, they could go f*** themselves, man. This, is, this has nothing to do with that, okay? This has nothing to do with that. I mean, it can help, but, man, this is so far beyond looks and money, okay?
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And by the way, if you want to work with me personally to implement any of the techniques in this video to become more socially confident, get more women in your life, build a bigger social circle, and really just dominate life in any aspect socially, I can help you with that. I'm the fucking guy for that, okay? Been doing this for a long time. I've transformed myself going from a video game nerd loser to becoming one of the top guys in the industry with this stuff, okay? So if you're interested in working with me personally, click the link below, click the link in the description, fill out the application, and we will be contacting you to discuss further details. Until next time, Coach Kyle, signing out. Peace.